and thank you so much. I would now like to give the floor to Myanmar. Here we are, thank you and welcome. Honorable Metin President, distinguished IB officials, distinguished fellow delegates, ladies and gentlemen, Minglava, I am Dr. Wimya E, a democratically elected parliamentarian in 2020 general election of Myanmar. On behalf of the committee representing Pidao Zulodo, that is Myanmar Parliament, and all legitimately elected MPs in Myanmar. I would like to take this opportunity to speak here today and very glad to meet you all in person. Madam President and my colleagues, as you all know, in Myanmar, the military honda seized the power from the democratically elected civilian government on 1st February 2021 because they did not get the election results they expected. The president and cabinet members of the civilian government, including Myanmar's democratic leader, Do Aung San Suu Kyi, were unlawfully arrested and imprisoned. That day, that day was the day when our new parliament will be held. The military dictator blocked us from going to the parliament and threatened to arrest us. However, we are able to convene a budget Parliament via the Zoom application to represent the people according to the people's mandate and remove the military dictatorship. At the first meeting of Union Parliament, the representatives of the Union level parliaments were able to form the CRPH, a committee representing the parliament. We don't have a parliament building. We cannot stay at home because of threats to our lives from the military, and our houses were seized. However, the people of Myanmar are overwhelmingly supporting us as we are trying to perform parliamentary functions using technology from where we are. Holding the electoral mandate of the 2020 general election, we formed the national unity government in consultation with the revolutionary forces. Madam President and dear friends, I'm sure you all are aware that unlawful military Honda has escalated their inhumane human rights violations and crimes against humanity and has also neglected all every effort of international community, including international parliamentary union. As the latest figures of yesterday, 3,124 people have been killed, including one elected member of parliament. And 20,335 people were unlawfully arrested, including over 100 members of parliament. At present, 60,470 are still under unlawful detention. detention. This includes 33 union level member of parliament and 80 regional member of parliament. In Myanmar, most of the people are facing the most serious human rights violations, such as threats, torture, illegal arrest, arbitrary detentions and imprisonment and confiscation and destruction of private properties. Over 1.5 million people have been displaced due to indiscriminate air attacks and targeted arson by the brutal military honda. Dear parli parliamentarian colleagues, since the continued violations of military honda across the country, the democracy gains in last decade have been lost. Peace, rule of law, and development have been worsening day by day. We don't want military to hold the power back again. Now we are trying to promote peaceful coexistence with all our resistant ethnic organizations and inclusive societies. We have our roadmap to build a federal democratic union. I, on behalf of all elected me members of parliaments and the people of Myanmar, I would like to seek 
your continued support on this auspicious day. Please support us by passing resolutions in your respective parliaments that fully recognize the CRPH as the legitimate representative parliament of Myanmar people. Please make practical cooperation between us through parliament to parliament engagement to protect democracy and human rights and military dictatorship in Myanmar and the war, and to end the military dictatorship in Myanmar and the war. Please pass resolutions in each of your parliaments urging your government to recognize the national unity government as the legitimate government of Burmese people. Please encourage respective governments to help and provide emergency humanitarian assistance to Myanmar people who have been displaced because of Sir, the oppressions and brutal killings by the military Honda. Please urge ASEAN to implement the ASEAN Five Point Consensus to stop the brutal killings by the military Honda as soon as possible and to restore democracy in Myanmar. Please join us in bringing to justice the dictatorial and dictatorial military leaders and their accomplices who have committed crimes against community, war crimes and human rights violations with impunity for decades to this day. We look forward to further more cooperation with you. Thank you, IPU, for, uh, for all that you stand for, for and act upon. And thank you, dear friends, for your solidarity. Thank you very much. Thank you.